Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies with me, Boldish McGammer. Today, I have no idea what I'm going to do. But it's clearly not going to be going down this row first. It has to be a row with power. But how am I going to get past this garlic to get to all this tasty sunflower? You're asking the wrong guy. Actually, this looks like the answer. The pole vaulting zombie. Go, pole! Delicious! Go, man, go! You can do it! Brains. Don't be a disappointment, son! Brains. Yes! Victory for zombie kind! Alright. Now then, what to do about the other rows? Well, it looks like this is another one of those rows. And it looks like, if I'm smart enough, I can get through this row pretty easily too. But only if I get lucky with that darn corn. So let's take care of the snow pea first. Please no butter. Please no butter. Ah. Figures. I have to do is kind of Russian. Or I could send this bucket head down here. That'll work fine. Okay, what next? Two more rows. Well, this row looks like it's pretty well defended, but then so does this one. This one has sun, though. Take that, corn. Let's just do this. He doesn't like anything. He just crushes it all. I bet he's not even going to eat the brain. He's just going to crush it. And see? See? He just, a complete waste right there. The sugary goodness is lost. Boogie. Oh, this looks great. Hmm. Well, let's take it out. Not that I got enough from that. Brains. Just three normal zombies should be enough for here. Why did I do that? I could just send a dancer zombie down there. Brains. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe it's because I needed the power. These guys aren't going to move fast enough to be able to go and get that before he finishes. That previous zombie was there simply to get me more power. Well done! Keep eating, we need that sun! This is clearly the power of this guy. To defeat things that are easily defeated by other tactics. Alright, let's see here. Send a normal zombie down here. 
two pole vaulting zombies down this way. Normal zombie followed by a pole vaulting zombie. Followed by a normal zombie. This is probably a more expensive way to do this. I probably should have just sent a disco zombie. But this way works for me. And after he explodes, I send another pole vaulting zombie. There we go. Brains. Oh, and the top row isn't eaten. get to learn about this very cheap imp. Not nearly as good as the other zombie. Ah, uh, well. What can you do? Hmm. Looks like what I need to do is send the imp to get crushed by this. Send another imp to explode. And send another imp to feed. Imps are fast little buggers, but they only take three peas to kill. In any other lane, they would have died. So this is about the only lane I'll be able to use them. As for everybody else, well, everybody else looks like they're going to be doing great. Hmm, the Conehead Zombie. This is new technology for me. He's cheap, but effective. Hmm. Get destroyed in pretty much any of these rows, though. If only I was able to use the ladder zombie in this row. But no, that magnet would take it away. Fortunately, I'm able to handle this. Hmm, but if I do that. Derp, 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 derp. Do this. Then I just need to send out a dicker zombie. Hopefully he's far enough away from this magnet. Otherwise I'm gonna have to restart this. Nope, looks like I'm good. He's gonna get me power and he's gonna clear this whole lane. But after he defeats this, I'm gonna send an imp down the other way. Because he's not gonna be able to eat that brain. Actually, a digger would make any of these lines easier. I just can't use them in any other lane because of that magnet. Same goes for the bucket heads. Hmm. Actually, let's do this. Not one, but two cone heads. Yes, this will work. And since that's in the process of working, send not one, but two cone heads down this way. Oh no, they're both gonna die on that spud mine, aren't they? Here we go, waste of resources! Ah oh, well, one more cone head shouldn't hurt too much.
Okay, now I can use the bucket head. But let's not use the bucket head yet. Another cone head first. That way we don't get both squished by that squash. Perfect. And by perfect, I mean a little bit sloppy. But hey, it worked. So, what is there left to do in Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, right, right. I forgot about this one. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so... Pretty much every one of these lanes is protected from the digger. Uh, this is vicious. There's, like, no easy lane. Oh, right, I forgot about the starfruit. Go, man, you have to eat at least 75 worth. Ah, oh, man. That is brutal. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna reset this level. Wow, that's almost exactly identical, but it isn't. And that is what will save me. You see, now I can send him down this lane. Because down this lane, there's slightly less opposition now. means he'll be able to eat this one sunflower on his own fairly easily. And that's good. Yeah, the magnet is still there. So I can't send a bucket head down yet. Pole vault would be foolish. Uh, the imp would be foolish, too, because there's that three-peater there. Can't pull vault over that. But I can ladder over it. Good plan. Almost got it. Now I just need to send Buckethead down there. Perfect. Once Buckethead gets far enough down, he can eat that three-peater, and then other things will become available. Go, Buckethead, go! Don't give up yet! Yes! Victory to the bucket head! Whoa, that was close. Now then, eat this. Boom. Next. That sunflower at the end will pay for all these. One more of those, and then the pole vaulter. Aha. Oh, I'm really low on time. Next time, let's play Plants vs. Zombies with me, Voltage Megammer. I'll continue to do puzzles. Later, Necromancers.